checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber we're back with another video guys. So we're gonna talk about a project which I'm super bullish on. And um, if you're thinking about tokens to hold for the bull run, this, in my opinion, is one that you need in your portfolio. But before we get into it, it's not financial advice. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Okay, guys, now this is called Casper. The ticker is Cas, and there's some super bullish things to know about this project. I'm not going to be able to give you everything in this particular video, but there's a bunch of videos which I've been looking at also on YouTube, which also makes me super bullish on this project. I've been following this token for a while, right? And um, you may notice we are on a one day chart, right? You may notice this has been uptrending ever since its actual launch in around September time uh, last year, All right, guys. And um, there's been plenty of opportunities to get this at a lower price. Um, but, you know, it wasn't widely available at the time. A lot of people were mining this. Oh, my God, but MEXC is one of those upcoming, up, up, up and coming exchanges, right, that seem to be listing quite a lot of tokens before the kind of mainstream, uh, you know, uh, exchanges actually get wind of them. All right, guys. And um, as you can see, beautiful uptrend. Looks like it's printing a free wave at the time of recording this video if we lower the time frame you can see that this super pump came in just about yesterday nice candle and it is continuing that uptrend okay guys so for me super bullish you can see that it's been following that clear trend line okay guys i've got my original entries over here did manage to come out and um, i'm just holding a bag for the long term because I really believe in this project. The volume, 311 million, super aggressive volume. And as you can see, the volume is pretty um, bullish down here as well. Okay, guys, so what is there What is there to know about this particular project? So this is a DAG, okay, guys? Um, I talked about this in my Telegram group a few months ago. I said, I think that DAGs are going to be uh, a huge trend in the next bull run. Okay, guys, but this is the first block DAG. Okay, if you don't know what a DAG is, go and look it up. Plenty of information out there on the internet. All right, guys, um, we're not going to go into everything about it right now. But it's the first block DAG and digital ledger, uh, which is a digital ledger enabling parallel blocks and instant transaction confirmation. Okay, guys, I'm not the most technical person. So, you know, hence why I'm probably not the best person to explain what these things are okay guys but um you know i'm here for the gains all right guys i'm not here for the technology but if you do have something that's a first mover it's got first mover advantage in the space in crypto right casper is definitely one of those ones that can capitalize on that okay guys if it can fit into its own niche which is dag or the, the first block dag definitely a lot of room for potential there okay guys if you jump into the white paper they've got actually got two white papers they've got the dag night and they've got the ghost dag okay guys um, but you're gonna have to do that in your own time but they're basically there's this guy called jonathan or jonathan Somp sompolinsky or sompolinsky okay guys and there's a lot of talk about this particular person okay guys he's pretty well known in the crypto developer space as far as i'm aware he was actually mentioned in the Ethereum white paper, okay, guys? And the whole ghost DAG protocol or whatever it's called, right? That is mentioned in the Ethereum white paper, which is one of the things that's got people super bullish on this particular project. You'll need to do a little bit more of a deep dive if you want to find that information, but it is out there on YouTube and so on. Um, so I have seen it in the Ethereum white paper, not by looking myself but by looking on youtube and things like that from reputable sources okay guys but uh, one thing that i will point you to is if we go to not about if we go to casper's vision okay guys it kind of explains what the aim is for this particular project okay guys so you have bitcoin which is like gold okay it's a store of value a uh, store of value right and then you have casper which aims to be silver so the word Casper actually comes from the Aramaic word for silver and money, as you can see down here. Um, with this project, we call this project Casper, Aramaic word for silver and money. Okay, guys, so they look to silver 
which presented a different trade off versus gold in the original animated text. Silver was historically treated as less precious than gold, but more circulative, less valuable, yet more acceptable as payment. So when you have Bitcoin, you, we know that Bitcoin's it's not really scalable enough or fast enough or reliable enough for us to use as a payment method. It's more like a store of value. Okay, guys, so Casper, their aim is to uh fill that gap okay guys potentially become a payment solution all right guys and um you know when people think about gold gold is obviously a store of value silver we use for coins and that for spending and things like that so casper's vision is basically to build in fact let's just read this okay so Casper's vision, the vision behind this project is to build a Nakamoto like service that operates as fast as internet speed allows. We wanted to build a system that surpasses the limits of Satoshi's V1 protocol, uh, the Nakamoto consensus, yet it adheres to the same principles embedded in Bitcoin. Contrary to, to Satoshi's vision, Bitcoin did not become a peer to peer electronic cash system. Instead, it's solidifying as the ultimate store of value or gold uh, or e-gold, sorry. And that's pretty much it from the Bitcoin side um and so on okay guys so just mirroring what i said okay guys so uh if you go into the white paper again right you'll see that they mention the uh, nakamoto and the nakamoto consensus and all that sort of stuff numerous times okay guys numerous times but um there are some speculations out there as to whether this guy uh jonathan sompolinski is not related to or or is could be satoshi nakamoto probably not but, um, you know, whether he had some close connection with Satoshi Nakamoto in the beginning stages, he's been around that long. OK, guys. But, um, yeah, super bullish protocol. Again, like I said, you're going to have to do your own research. There is an overview and um, plenty of things that you can read up on this. OK, guys, but this is a very short video giving you the basics. OK, just telling you why I'm bullish on this project without giving you all the boring details. Okay, guys, it's on coin market cap, sitting only at a 304 million uh, market cap. Okay, guys, 304 million in market cap, fully diluted at 503 million. What is the potential for this to go into the billions? Okay, guys, some people are comparing this to being the next potential Cardano or Solana or Solana Killer or Cardano Killer or whatever, right? Um, there's definitely a lot of potential for this project. I will say I don't you know necessarily like to say that a project is going to kill another project um, but um yeah casper is definitely a uh, a good looking project on the surface it's on a few exchanges at the time of recording this video i know that it is getting listed on gate.io as well okay guys so if we go to twitter um you will see this right here it will be will be listed on gate.io on march the 21st which is sometime tomorrow 10 a.m utc actually tomorrow okay guys so another exchange there can this hit things like binance you know who will be global um coinbase for example i think there's potential for this particular project look at the volume guys like i said look at the volume look at the trading activity okay not everything is doing this and making new all-time highs in this bear in this market sorry i shouldn't even say bear market anymore we're in a bull market bitcoin has just hit 28k and cas is being a beneficiary of this price action of the bullish momentum in the space right now there's not many charts that look like this right now guys and bearing in mind this is super early this is not much chart history but right about now there's no coin holders above you dumping right this is price discovery no one's ever had it at these prices before not only that it is being mined okay but it's not no degen type you know um farming type thing right this is being mined on the blockchain or or the dag consensus or whatever it's called right and um you know people are holding these tokens you can see that by the bullish by the bullish price action people are holding on to these tokens for the potential future of this project like i said it's a it's a baby it's a baby in terms of market cap 300 million i could see this being in the billions you know in excess of a billion 1.5 billion even in the very short term in my opinion okay guys um scrolling through the uh twitter okay guys you can see digifinex listing not too long ago um we have a very active twitter very good engagement i always look at the engagement the retweets the likes the comments all right guys so these guys are pretty uh pretty uh um uh what's pretty uh you know busy on twitter pretty active 
okay guys and it is something that i saw that i wanted to bring to your attention as well if i can uh, find it if i can jog my memory a little bit okay guys um top 10 okay so the exchanges uh, the exchange listings, the liquidity is crowdfunded as well. This is a community project. Okay, guys, that is something to mention on this. So it belongs to the community. All right. Um, it ends up being fully decentralized. Okay, guys. And um, I, if we're not there already, we're super close to that. Right. So another thing is, is being able to store this in a hardware wallet there's a few wallets that are available to store this on it does have ledger written there i thought that you couldn't actually store this on the ledger me personally i've just got this on the exchange right now but um yeah there's going to be plenty of uh developments and uh innovation for this right okay so this is what i wanted to talk about okay so basically we talked about this being something that can be used for payment this aims to be like silver like uh not like gold right silver is used for payments okay guys so we have restaurants and companies which are actually accepting casper as payment right you can see it right here that casper is expected uh, is accepted in albania uh, for payments here and there was another thing in albania right here um uh, and you can see bitcoin casper tether cardano ethereum digital silver okay so it's been spotted in albania and this is something you can use right now for payments at least even to buy a burger from this particular restaurant in albania so it seems to like it's getting a little bit of adoption in albania i'm not sure if it's an albanian project okay but clearly you can see there's two uh tweets one after the other okay different dates of course two days after the other where uh people seem to be accepting or recognizing Casper as a medium of payment in Albania. Okay, guys, so that's pretty bullish. I just thought I'd share this with you because I do believe that this could be a contender to kind of take you to some serious X's in your portfolio. Uh, take a look at the project, guys, okay? Remember, it's not financial advice. This is only my opinions, but I'm super bullish on this project. I've been holding it for a short while, okay, guys? And... Um, yeah, I wish that I would have picked some. In fact, I did pick some up over here and I kind of got cold feet. I kind of got fudded out of the project at the beginning, to be honest, right? People saying it's a scam and, you know, you get the, the fudders, right? Online, social media, all that sort of stuff. I kind of got fudded out of the project, okay, guys? But, um, you know, the last time I got fudded out of a project, I lost out on stupid money right stupid gains right and you know you can't allow people to fudge you out of projects there's really no reason to be fudging on these projects okay guys i believe the developers are doing a really good job there's amas out there there's all sorts that you can look at and kind of make up your own mind all right guys so for me this is a bullish project i'd like to see it on more uh bigger exchanges but i believe that getting in early at this stage this is where the money is made and by the time it gets to those bigger exchanges right um you know you're going to be selling to you know, selling to new buyers at those at, 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 at stupid prices. All right, guys. So just thought I'd share this with you. Uh, again, do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Um, you guys can find this. Do your own research in your own time as well. But Casper or Cas Super Bullish Project, in my opinion, I see this going to the multiples of billions potentially in the bull market. Okay, guys. So that being said, it's the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. And I will see you guys in the very next one.